This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. I'm going to show you videos of Da Nang, Vietnam, as I discuss why I consider it an amazing place to retire cheap in paradise. But no need to take notes. Everything I say is in writing. Just click the link in the notes below this YouTube video to get Da Nang, Vietnam, livability factors, cost of living, best area to stay, cheapest flights, walking tour, mountain tour, marble mountain tour, expat neighborhood tour, an impromptu expat interview, uh, Vietnam nightlife tour in Da Nang, digital nomads in Da Nang, life and food, and Da Nang facts and history, plus our best retire cheap in paradise locations in the world. Uh, we are touring the world, finding the best retire cheap in paradise destinations. I left the USA in 2007 and have visited 65 countries so far. To learn the best places in the world where you can live for less than $1,000 per month, check out our Retire Cheap reports at Vagabond Buddha. Even after you find your cheap retirement paradise, you'll still want to travel to other parts of the world, won't you? Our reports also teach you the best places to go in the world to visit, giving you the biggest bang for your buck. Today we're talking about a really big bang for your buck, Da Nang, Vietnam. I have to tell you, I'm falling deeply in love with the rhythm of life here in Vietnam. Da Nang, livability factors. Here's why you should retire in Da Nang for cheap. Walkability, high. Chung Hoi and I uh, have both uh, fallen in love with a little community about 15 minutes south of central Da Nang on the beach. The walkable streets we love on Thong are in the red circle below in a Google map area called Mayan. Again, all of this is on the web page. I would love to live here. Everything you need like restaurants, expensive and cheap uh, foreign and domestic foods, wet markets and a gorgeous beach would be extremely walkable uh, from this in this neighborhood. Plus there's a bus, a 30k dong, which is $1.30 US into central Da Nang that's about a 15 to 20 minute ride away. Plus one of my other favorite places in Vietnam called Hoi An, I'll tell you about that next week, is only 30 minutes away by bus. Um, the same bus for $1.30. Watch my expat beach tour below to see videos of this beautiful walk of, walkable neighborhood I'm talking about and the map and all that. Okay, internet, hi. The internet Wi-Fi has not been an issue in Vietnam for us. It was nine megabits per second download and eight megabits per second upload speeds. Uh, that's an AT&T speed test web page provided. Um, all throughout Vietnam, uh, unlock your phone though before exiting the USA. Only the USA lets companies lock their citizens' smartphones, as far as I know. So you need to have it unlocked. But pick up a mobile phone SIM card uh, uh, for 200K, um, uh, which is $8.50 per month. That'll allow you four gigabytes per day. Um, typical of Southeast Asia, you're allowed to use your Android as a hotspot for your computer if you get a dud Wi-Fi connection anywhere and it works pretty good. I've been using it for uh, that purpose uh, for coffee shops and whatnot. Okay, food, hi. I love Vietnamese food. As you will see in my below digital nomads in Da Nang food and life video, uh, we typically eat local food uh, for 25K to 50K dong, at local restaurants. We don't go for too much for the expat stuff. And that's uh, the local food's about a dollar to $2 for entrees. If you eat all three meals per day in restaurants like we have, you could easily stay under $6 a day per person for food in restaurants. But other expats like Roy Stevenson uh, reports budgeting $15 per day per person eating three meals per day in restaurants. Uh, that conversation is in a below uh, uh, expat impromptu interview. You can hear that. Um, just come to the web page. That is probably because he eats, he and his wife eat in expat restaurants often and we eat more in local type restaurants. So there's a range for you anyway. Uh, weather, uh, high, we love the weather here. Average daily highs range from uh, 77 Fahrenheit, which is about 25 Celsius in December, to 94 Fahrenheit, which is about 34 Celsius in July. 
Average nightly lows range seasonally from uh, 66 Fahrenheit or 19 Celsius in January to 78 Fahrenheit or 26 Celsius in June at night. The rainy season is September through November when at least some rain falls 15 or more days of the month, 20 or more days of the month in October and November. We were here at the end of September and it rained a little each day but never really rained enough to change our plans. If the heat is ever too much, just take a trip to Da Lat, Vietnam to cool down. It's uh, 4,500 feet above sea level and rooms start there at about $10 per night. Things to do, medium, beaches, boats, fishing, hiking, biking, uh, markets, learning to cook Vietnamese or speak Vietnamese, join expat groups, inter internations or Facebook, meditation, yoga, exploring restaurants, archeological exploration, trips around Vietnam and Southeast Asia, snorkeling, scuba, coffee shops, dance classes, martial arts, museums, Monkey Mountain, Marble Mountain, bust uh, to Hoi An, get drunk at Dirty Fingers, rent a scooter and explore back roads, check out the nightlife, grab the bus down to Expat Beach, in, shown in the video on the webpage, and drink tea in a sidewalk, cafe, and people watch. Okay, expats, hi. There are about 10,000 people that have joined the four main Da Nang Vietnam Facebook expat pages, links provided. There are often local people that also join expat pages, but there should be enough people here to live an entirely expat social life, if that is your thing. Even if you are less expat oriented like me, these are still great resources to find odds and ends in Da Nang that you miss from home. They're also a great place to buy and sell things and find a place to live and find out things that only a foreigner that has lived in Da Nang for a few years would likely know about or be looking for locally. Okay, real estate, hi. A 700 square foot apartment, which is 65 square meters, would sell in the range of 650 million to 1.3 billion dong, which is 28,000 to 56,000 US dollars, according to Numbio Danang. You'll have to pay the higher end of that range as you approach the most expensive areas. Don't even consider buying until you've lived in a place for at least a year or two and are totally in love with it. Even then, make sure you get a very good legal advice. Land ownership is very limited for foreigners here in Vietnam. Instead, I recommend you keep your house in the US and rent that out. That'll give you some inflation protection because rents tend to go up every year in the US. Uh, then just rent, be a renter in Vietnam or wherever you are in the world. That gives you flexibility to move if things, the economy changes or the political environment changes. Okay, medical, medium. Historically wealthier Vietnamese would often travel to Bangkok, Kuala Lumpur, or Singapore for significant health care challenges. Uh, but over the last decade, Vietnam has slowly been raising their game medically. We met two American expats while visiting Da Nang, one who has lived in Da Nang for a year and moved here from Saigon, where she had lived for 1.5 years. While in Saigon, she had surgery on her leg at the French Vietnam Hospital, or FV Hospital, which cost 1200 for everything. Uh, she paid for herself since she had no insurance. She said it felt more like a five-star resort than a hospital. Although I, I have not been there myself, Google reviews indicate there is a similar quality hospital here in Da Nang, uh, link provided uh, on the webpage. It's called Hospital Da Nang International Vinmec. Okay, visa requirements, hi. The two Americans we met living here do not bother with retirement visas. Um, they just get a new one, a new one-year visa every year. There are companies that will keep you uh, up at, um, will pick you up at your house and take you uh, to the border once a year to exit Vietnam and re-enter for another one-year visa. You have to fill out paperwork and attach a photo. The cost is 75 including the bus ride, lunch, and the new visa stamp. This is only available for Americans to get a one year. Other countries only get a three month visa, so they have to do four visa runs per year at 75 each. 
each one for three months. They didn't know why Americans have it easier in Vietnam, so I don't have any answer for that. But both said that despite the Vietnam War, people love Americans here. I did not independently check the accuracy of this information about visa runs, but we got a three-month visa using uh, uh, the fa a process described by Chung Hoi of Hobo Ventures. Link provided. It was really easy. Um, so I can see why a year might be just as easy. Okay, pollution, medium or high. The air in Da Nang Central is way better than Hanoi. Uh, and the air at the expat beach community in Da Nang uh, videos below is even cleaner than Da Nang Central. You can check the air quality here uh, over a number of months or weeks to see if it's acceptable to you. There's a link provided. Uh, today even Da Nang Central is rated good. Um, da Nang cheap retirement desirability score. I'm going to give this a high. Vietnam is now clearly in my top four retire cheap in paradise countries. Thailand, Mexico, Vietnam, and Portugal. Da Nang in particular, and specifically the Oh Thong neighborhood uh, expat beach community is my number one spot in Vietnam. But we have six more stops before I have to make that final Vietnam countrywide uh, determination for you. Stay tuned as we head south through Vietnam. We head next to Hoi An. If you're finding any value here, could you please like it, comment, share, or subscribe? Your simple act of kindness will move us up in Google and YouTube search rankings so our business grows faster. If you'd like to learn how to fire your boss and live in paradise for peanuts, grab a free copy of my ebook at the webpage, How to Fire Your Boss and Travel the World. Okay, Danang Cost of Living. There's a table on the webpage um, that um, itemizes each of the items, multiplies them by the number of times you'll use them per month. And we've got a range here running uh, uh, from uh, for about 300 per month for a very frugal backpacker type, all the way up to 900 uh, per month for a frugal person like me who likes to be in a one-bedroom apartment. Uh, the estimated cost of living for one month for one person is a temporary visitor. It only includes rent, two meals per day, and local transportation. I usually have oatmeal for breakfast in my room, so I don't count that. For a full understanding of what it will cost you to live here, visit Numbio Da Nang and add any items you spend money on. If you retire in Da Nang for cheap, you'll have an amazing life compared to the life you, you would have in the expensive world. Never move anywhere until you have visited first personally to verify the living costs for your lifestyle and needs. I'm not guaranteeing these prices. These are just my notes and estimates from the time of my visit and this post. Your costs will likely be drastically different depending on your lifestyle and the time since the post. Um, the above numbers are for one person. They do not include alcohol, tours, or anything not specifically listed. Uh, here's a free report explaining how the table works. There's a link on the web page. You can check that out. If you buy anything using our links, flights, tours, accommodations, you'll pay nothing extra but we'll earn a small commission. Your kindness will encourage us to keep making these travel guides and videos. Okay, best area to stay in Da Nang? Uh, we stayed in central Da Nang, but I'm suggesting uh, that you stay in the expat beach area because I like that better now. And with that in mind, here are a few suggestions. There's a hostel here, um, ridiculously low, like $4 a day. Great price, locations, ratings, and reviews, just two blocks from the beach. Uh, there's a cheap hotel here, which we show you in the expat um, beach community walking tour. Uh, you can see the inside of it, great price and locations. And there's an expensive, fabulous beachfront hotel um, that would easily be 10 times as much in, in some parts of the world. Um, all of those are here on the webpage. Take your pick. We stayed in Central Da Nang, link, link provided. Uh, the video of that place is in the Digital Nomad. Then on life and food, you can see the inside if you want. Uh, uh, there's also a link to an Airbnb apartment we would stay in next time in Danang in that expat beach community. If you're, um, because we'd, we'd have a kitchen that way and we could do some cooking, which we love to do. If you're new to Airbnb, there's a link here for you um, at checkout you can use to get a big discount. Okay, cheapest flights to Danang. Um, we almost always get our cheapest flights 
on Skyscanner. They have a web crawler that's constantly looking for the cheapest prices all over the world. As usual, we found our cheapest flight to Vietnam on Skyscanner. We took a train three hours from Hoi to Da Nang for about three dollars. Um, so that's how we got to Da Nang. Da Nang Vietnam walking tour. Here are the things you must see in the central part of Da Nang. Make sure to also see my expat beach tour and my other tours on the webpage. Uh, this is a, this central area is um, uh, the area we stay, but as, as I said, we um, we would uh, stay in another area. But you're, you need to see the central area, and here's a walking tour for you. There's a map here. Uh, just click the link on the web page and start walking. Um, it takes you to a cathedral. It takes you to a large wet market. It takes you to a beautiful temple, a museum, the Dragon Bridge, which breathes fire. It's a bridge car, cars drive over, but it's also a decoration, and it's very fun. Uh, there's also Love Bridge um, and the Mai Chi Beach, which is along with speech in Da Nang. And it's also known as China Beach, where a lot of uh, American servicemen uh, did their R&R during the Vietnam War. Okay, Da Nang, Vietnam, Marble Mountain Tour. In terms of just innate, or just beauty, this is probably my favorite tour uh, that we took in Da Nang. There's a Google map for this, just click the link and take the tour. The first stop is the bus stop. You, you get off assuming you're taking the bus from Da Nang Central to Marble Mountain. Uh, the bus takes about 15 minutes. It, it runs about every 20 minutes. It costs $1.30. Uh, the bus will say Da Nang Hoi An, the spot where you pick it up is here on the webpage. Um, so come watch the video of this trip on the webpage. If it looks fun, everything's here for you to take this uh, for just um, a dollar. Uh, you know, the, the bus is a dollar thirty, I think it is, and to enter the park is like a dollar sixty. Okay, Da Nang Expat Beach Tour video on the webpage here. Um, Chung Hui of Hobo Ventures has an American friend living in Da Nang. They met on Instagram. Her name is Kat. She's the founder of Girls Gone Working. Kat and her husband, Rafael, a Renaissance man from Bogota, Colombia, live in, a be live in the beach community just outside of Da Nang that we toured and that I keep talking about. We had coconut coffee today at Brumen. Uh, with them, and they recommended that we uh, walk their neighborhood in Da Nang before we leave, so we did. Um, there's a video of our tour, there's a map here you just click and you can take the tour yourself. It's the same bus you take uh, to Marble Mountain and also to Hoi An. And, um, next is the Da Nang Expat interview with Roy Stevenson. In this video you'll see us run into one of the most prolific writers in the world, his name is Roy Stevenson. Um, we asked him all about Da Nang. He explains why he lives in Da Nang is one of the best places to retire in the world. He's been here, I believe he said, for two and a half years. And we asked him questions and you can watch that video. It's on the web page. Da Nang nightlife. Uh, uh, there are nightlife places within a few blocks around central Da Nang, uh, which you can uh, watch the video if it looks fun. Take, take the video. There's um, a walking tour there and web page and everything. Also, in the expat area, you can just go to Dirty Fingers in the expat area if that sounds more interesting. They have live music, uh, 9.30 p.m., four to five nights a week. Uh, uh, beers there start at about $1.50, uh, but they have a half-price happy hour from 6 to 9 p.m. And it's the Dirty Fingers is the last stop on the expat beach walking tour, so you can see the inside of it there. Um, Okay, that's the uh, the nightlife, those two options for you. Uh, digital nomads in Da Nang, life and food. There's a video on the webpage that shows you the restaurants that, that we ate at, uh, the ones that we would go back to and did go back to. And there's a walking tour, uh, so you can click the link and see where they are. And then we've rated our top two um, on the webpage. You can see those. And uh, so watch the video and then click the ones, click our favorites. There's a brew, the Broom and Coffee I told you about, the coconut ice cream and coffee, you've got to go there. There's a link for that, and there's a link to the wet market that we'll show you in the, in the Food and Life video, Digital Nomads. Uh, then there's a, a link to a store where we did some shopping uh, uh, also. Vagabond Buddhist Kitchen, I didn't cook a single meal here in Da Nang. The vegetarian restaurants were so good and cheap, we just ate out at every meal. By the way, in Vietnamese, the word chai, C-H-A-Y, means vegetarian. 
So even in a neighborhood restaurant, if you can't read the menu and you don't speak any of Vietnamese just, and you're vegetarian, just point at the menu and ask the server, chai, and they'll get you a chai meal. Uh, grab a free copy of my ebook uh, if you'd like to learn how to save and uh, live internationally. Uh, save money living internationally. Da Nang facts and history. Here's some interesting facts and history about Da Nang, Vietnam, according to Wikipedia. Da Nang is the fifth largest population in Vietnam. Da Nang has about a million people. Um, about half of that, 50.7, are women. The Da Nang municipality is under direct control of the central government. Da Nang is within 62 miles of Hoi. Um, it's even closer to Hoi An and my sons, all three being UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Um, da Nang was known uh, as Choa Han and Vietnam was known as Da Viet during the Li Dynasty from 1054 to 1400 and from 1428 to 1804. During the French colonial rule, Da Nang was known as Turan. During the Nguyen Dynasty, starting in 1802, the city was known as Da Nang. Uh, Guy Long, the first emperor of the Nguyen Dynasty, was able to defeat the Trinh Lords of the North with the help of French volunteers, training, and technology. Da Nang originated in the second century AD under the Champa Kingdom, which held land from, from Hoi down to Vung Tau. The Cham territories were annexed by the Li Dynasty, Li Dynasty uh, completely by about the year 1500 AD. Uh, the Portuguese explorer Antonio de Faria visited Da Nang in 1535. Portuguese, French, and Spanish traders and missionaries regularly visited Hoi An by the 17th century. By the early 19th century, trade with ships of foreign nations was mostly shifted from Hoi An to Da Nang under the orders of Emperor Ming Mang of Vietnam. In 1847, French ships invaded Da Nang, alleging religious prosecution of Roman Catholic missionaries. The French were pushed out of Da Nang in 1860, but were able to take Saigon in 1862. Southern Vietnam was eventually ceded to France as Cochinchina under the Treaty of Saigon. Um, the French also called it Indochina. Uh, by 1887, the French had firmly established the colony of Indochina, with Da Nang being one of the five major cities of Hanoi, Saigon, Haiphong, and Hoi. Uh, the Americans showed up in Da Nang in 1965 and built a large army and air force base here. Da Nang served as the supply and attack base for Americans. During the Vietnam War, Da Nang became one of the world's busiest airports, averaging 2,500 flights a day. The Viet Cong was able to push the Americans out of Vietnam by 1976. Da Nang was under complete Vietnamese control uh, by March of 1975. The Vietnamese were able to push out many very strong invading forces, including the Chinese, the French, and the Americans. An amazing fact, no matter where you stand politically. Uh, Vietnam issued the Total Liberation Postage Stamp in 1976. Many companies worldwide think of Vietnam when developing offshore goods and services. Because of operational costs, Vietnam is a great place to source products and services as expenses increase and trade policy deteriorates with China. If you're interested in the subject of present moment awareness, my new videos on that subject are now being posted at my new Present with Vagabond Buddha YouTube channel. Please subscribe to Vagabond Buddha or our YouTube channel to watch us move around the world, 65 countries so far. The world is your home. What time will you be home for dinner? This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Hey, we, we write reports about the best places in the world to retire cheap. Come on over to Vagabond Buddha and check us out. Just click the link below this video. 
come to Vagabond Buddha, see what, see what the sort of services and prices we have. Thanks so much.